Question 19 is on techniques of integration. Here you have been given questions and sometimes you have been given what is the u value. All the problems are u substitution but some of the times u is not given, you need to assume it. So whenever u is given it's so simple and so easy. Now this is the given question, right? Let me write it out over here. It's x squared square root of x to the power 3 plus 2 and dx is very important because you're integrating with respect to x. Now what is u? If you consider u to be x cubed plus 2, so this is given to us. Otherwise as well, it generally see square root, whatever is the term inside the square root, we take it as u. And now what we do is derive this. Derivation is, it's not integration, derivation, differentiation. So with respect to what? du by dx because it's x over here, right? So then when we derive this, it will be 3x power 2 and it's 0. Now x is the variable. But let us rearrange this. Why now? Let's look over here. You have assumed u. So this part will become u. Leave this variable. But what is this dx? If you have u, you can't have dx. It must be du. So just to understand that better. Now say for example, you have x squared dx. The answer is 2. Sorry, integral will be x cube by 3 plus c. What about this integral of u squared? It can't be dx, it must be du, then it will be u cubed by 3 plus 3c. Same way, if you have any variable, you can take m. m squared, it will be then dm. It must be in terms of dm, then you will have m cubed by 3 plus c. Same way over here, now you're changing this to u, isn't it? So your question is going to be x squared, square root u. And now this has to be changed as well, that dx will be changed. So we will rearrange this du divided by, just cross multiply, 3x squared is equal to dx. So I know u is so much, I substituted. Now dx also substituted. dx is equal to du divided by 3x squared. So I finished substituting this and this. Why do we substitute du, dx? Here this cancels off. Now you get everything in terms of u and numbers. Constants are fine. We can remove it out of the integral. 1 by 3 outside. What is u root? Root of u. It is u power half, isn't it? This is it. Now just use the power rule. 1 thirds multiplied by u half plus 1. You need to add it by 1. Half 0 0.5 will be 1.5 or 3 by 2 by again 3 by 2 here into a uh, sorry plus c now you can simplify this now here you can just if you're getting confused with the you know factors and everything just put this in the calculator 1 by 3 multiplied by instead of u and stuff put 1 divided by 3 by 2 let me just show it to you here i will just type this fraction 1 thirds that's an easy one. Multiply it with what is up over here. Numerator is some variable. Now, let me just write it as 1 itself. It's fine. But here now, there, are again, uh, there is again a fraction. So, divided by 3 by 2. Now, what is the answer we obtain? It's 2 by 9. So, the final answer must be 2 by 9. Other way to understand is, this is the denominator. Now, the first denominator remains over here. Again, this one goes up. So, it will be 2 by 3 times 3 u 3 by 2 plus c. What is 2 times uh, 2 by 3 by 3? It's 2 by 9. That's what we got in the calculator as well. It's almost done. We're nearly there, but it's still not over. See, this 2 by 9, it's fine. What is this u which we initially substituted? u is x to the power 3 plus 2, the whole power 3 by 2. This is important. This plus c. This is your final answer. You need to substitute whatever you assumed initially. So that would be your answer. Let's just look into the answer. Here we have, yes, 2. Okay, I just realized the error over here. See, this much is correct. 2 by 3 u, 3, 3 by 2 plus c. Here, wherever u is there, you need to substitute it. And this is not there. Okay, this power is for this. I apologize for this particular error in this solution set. But it's just that. You need to substitute whatever was u. u is x cubed plus 3 and it is whole power 3 by 2. 
like how I've written over here initially. So you can see this is the final answer. Similarly, do the other problems here also. They have given you what is u. So just take u as that much, derive it, and rearrange and substitute and solve. Um, let me just do this as well because there is negative power. Let me clear this first. What you need to do is write what is assumed to be u, x power 4 plus 1. So du by dx would be 4x cubed plus, sorry, that's a plus 0 it is. And now du by 4x cubed would be equal to dx. So now instead of this given question, what can be substituted over here? It is u power 2 thirds, minus 2 thirds. This x cubed remains dx can be written as du by u, sorry, this is not u, sorry for my bad handwriting, it is 4, okay, this is 4 x cube. Now, this x cube, x cube cancels, 4 is a constant, so I'll remove 1 by 4th outside, and it's u negative 2 by thirds du. And now, what we can do is, we have to integrate this part only, the constant outside, integrated, it will be u, negative two thirds plus one will be one thirds positive one thirds divided by one thirds over here du you can sorry not du it's done when you finish integration you cannot put this back i have applied the integration you just add plus c here so please remember that and now here you can put this in the calculator or this goes up it will be three fourth u to the power one thirds or you can write cube root as well plus c it's not over. Substitute what was initially assumed to be u. It was x to the power 4 plus 1, the whole 1 thirds plus c. And that's it. That will be the final answer. We will see it. Yes, that's it. Now, this is in writing, so it's fine. But if it was an MCQ, you may not get the answer like this. Sometimes it will be given like this. Cube root x power 4 plus 1 plus c and this is also the correct answer itself these both are same you can write one third or cube root if it was 1 by 2 you could have just written square root so please remember that and this is how easily we can solve them up now here there is u as well these are pretty straightforward let me do a problem where u is not there see the worked out solutions are there here also don't worry it's pretty simple because sine and cosine right even you can take cosine as u, it's fine because it doesn't uh, make much difference. Easily this will be cancelled and you can solve it up. These are very easy to solve. But now here also, we just now did similar one. This to be assumed as u and solve it up. Let me do this over here. So what do you have inside the square root? It's 1 plus 10x, right? Now whatever is inside the square root, we generally take it as u. Okay, it depends on the other variables as well, but most probably this will be considered as u in such circumstances. So u is 1 plus 10x. What is du? du by dx. It will be, this is gone, it's only 10. So now du by 10 is basically dx. So now I'll rearrange this. This becomes integral square root u times du by 10 this 1 10 is outside and what is the integration of root u it'll be 3 by 2 plus c and over here also divided by 3 by 2 now this goes up it'll be 2 by 10 times 3 to 1 times 5 times so it's 1 by 15 the fraction here it is u 3 by 2 sorry plus c now what is u initially assumed as it's a 1 plus 10 x 3 by 2 plus c. Now this is the answer and that's the final answer. So this is how we solve it up. Here as well, what do you assume as u? You should take sine, sorry, cosine because it's in the square root. Let's do this. So what will be du by dx? It's going to be cosine derivative is minus sine x and we need dx. So it will be du by negative sine x that is equal to dx. So now let's substitute over here integral sine x by square root u into du by minus sine x. 
and this this cancels we will have negative sign outside and it's basically what is this it's a root u right in the denominator that is u to the power half when we bring it up to the numerator it will be u to the power negative half du use the power rule it's gonna be minus outside now integral is gone because you're using integration formula it'll be positive half plus c um, I just realized that I forgot to write something power rule this power is divided right so now when we bring this up it's going to be negative 2 u to the power half plus c or you can write it as minus 2 into cosine x to the power half plus c this can be written also as square root but I'll leave it over there this much is more than enough see over here they have written as square root that's also fine or you can write power half same now here uh, okay, you can see it over here. Just assume u to be the higher power. You can see sine is cubed, right? This is just single. So take u as sine. Why? Because then the derivation of sine would be cos and that cancels off over here because it will be the denominator, right? So you just have to know which assumption you will take. Don't take sine cube. You should just take sine x. That will be u to the power 3. See integral u to the power 3 because this cancels off and then when you solve it up, you get this. Very simple. Please solve these by yourselves and here as well they are pretty straightforward but now let's do this one over here look you have t squared cos t cubed when I look at this I realize if it was cos u I know the formula and identity to solve it but over here also yes you uh, now this is specifically for this you can do chain rule but it will be making it much easier with this to be changed now what you do is you as to the power t to the power 3 so du by dx would now it's not dx it's related to dt so du by dt will be 3t square and what will be du by 3t square it will be dt so now i know all the substitutions over here t squared let it be cos u into d du by 3t squared. Now t squared t squared cancels. You are remaining with 1 by 3 integral cos u du. Integrate this. It's going to be 1 by 3 sine u plus c. Now just substitute back sine u was supposed to be t cube. This is the answer. Once you get the idea of this, this is pretty pretty simple, you know. So that's the final answer. Now what about this one? Now, if you are looking at it, don't think, okay, I'll just take cos as u. If you take cos t as u, it's going to be complicated. It'll be u plus 3 and then, you know, complications arise. Don't do that. What you need to do is take this entire thing, whatever is inside power 3 by 4, right, as u. So, u is cos t plus 3. So, du by dt will be sine t only. Now du is du by sine t would be dt. Now you can substitute dt as du by sine t. And what is already there? Sine t is there. And instead of this, you write u 3 fourth power. This cancels off. You're integrating u 3 fourth with du. Just use the power rule. It will be add 1. It, it is going to be 3 plus 4, four 7 by 4 du it is 1.75 basically sorry i don't you should not write this du you should divide this by 7 by 4 plus c okay this is 4 now what you do is just rearrange and write it 4 by 7 u to the power 7 by 4 plus c what is this u so 4 by 7 u was assumed to be cos t plus 3 the whole power 4 7 by 4 plus c so that is the final answer you can see it's now where did i do wrong i'm sorry i forgot this minus y because the derivation of cosine is not positive sign it's minus sign i was just carried away so here the sign would be minus the minus sign would always be there over here as at the final answer so that would be the answer it's minus 4 by 7 cos t plus 3 7 to the power, power 7 by 4 plus c Similarly, do these problems. I'm going to do one over here. Why? Because it's in terms of exponentials. Now, see, in integrals, you don't have product truth. In derivatives, you have uv, right? 
But in integrals, we don't have this. So that's why we do other techniques to integrate it. Now here, you just assume this as u, very simple. Now what do you do over here is e to the power u. So take u as x squared plus 1. So du would be 2x only, du by dx. So basically dx is equal to du by 2x. So what happens here, integral x, e, dx will be du by 2x. x and x cancels, you are just remaining with half e to the power u du. This is integrated. What is the integration of this? It's the same thing, right? It's e to the power u plus c. Now, what, what was u initially substituted as? It's x squared plus 1 plus c. That is the final answer. So here we have half e to the power x squared plus c. Now here what was assumed to be u? I just told e to the power x plus 4 and then it's the same method. Once you get the u properly uh, assumed, that's done. And how do you assume u? It depends. If it's inside the square root, take everything inside the square root. So you can easily solve it up. It'll be root u. And over here, if it's e to the power some complicated term, just take that. Even if it was a root x, don't take x as u, take root x as a u. What I mean is, if it was e to the power root x, take u as root x and then solve it up. Okay, so this is how we solve these problems. Oh, we just talked about it. I didn't know there was e to the power root x. Um, anyways, so you can see that root x to be taken as u. And what is the derivative of root x? It's 1 by 2 root x dx. And then you substitute everything back in this equation. dx is du multiply. Okay, let me just do this over here. u is equal to root x. du by dx is equal to. You can remember the formula. It's power half. You know, half comes down. So it's going to be 1 by 2 x to the power minus half. You bring it down. It will be this. Okay. Now we don't want this, we need dx. So du multiplied with 2 root x is equal to du, sorry, dx. Now then substitute everything back. It will be integral e to the power u because root x is u. And don't put over here as u. You can, if you take this as u, then over here root x must be considered as u. So wherever e e is there just take it as u for this now leave it like that because we are substituting what is dx right it is 2 root x du and this cancels off you have 2 e to the power u du what is the integral it's 2 e to the power u plus c now instead of e to the power u put the value of u that was root x plus c so that's the answer that's the last problem. They're all simple problems, but the more you practice u substitution, then you can easily assume what is u, what will be dx, and then solve it up.